Hi Pisces, this is your August 9th through August 15th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. Also, check out this new video on my channel from my good friend Kat. The name of the video is Pluto the Dark Lord and what he can do for you. The video is on Pluto Transit we're in right now. Some good info in that video. There is a link to that video in the description box down below. Kat is an astrologer and uh, she's thinking about starting her own channel. So any feedback on that video is appreciated. This first part is a new love this week. We have the King of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant. In the potential outcome we have the Eight of Wands with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups and we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. So the King of Pentacles, the first card I came out is the person you'll be dealing with. It could be an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn. If it's not an Earth sign, this is somebody who is grounded, somebody who is serious. They could be working in a financial industry. Um, there is a problem here because uh, the, uh, the King of Pentacles was clarified by the Eight of Swords and we also have the Seven of Cups right next to the King of Pentacles. Both cards are talking about pretty much the same thing. There's either some sort of a frustration or there is obstacles or this person is not sure um, on how to approach you or they have to finish something in their life uh, before they can come towards you, before they can pay uh, all the attention you deserve. Something is a little off. I don't think this person is uh, dealing with other people. I don't. But but like I said, I think they've got something going on here So and uh, they need to take care of that. And I think they will. They will take care of that because uh, we got the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant. I think this is what happens next. <laughs> the Four of Pentacles in this case, I think this is them holding on to you and never letting you go or wanting to let you go. Uh, they want you all to themselves. It's kind of like a borderline obsession going on here. Um, <laughs> perhaps they wanted to be with you for such a long time, uh, but they couldn't. And now that they finally can, uh, they will just want to spend as much time as they can with you. Uh, the Hierophant clarifying the Four of Pentacles. This is either a Taurus you're dealing with because the Hierophant is the personal Taurus card or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So this is what they want. It's just that they need to overcome something or take care of something first. We have the Moon on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. That is your personal card. Uh, Pisces, it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, especially on the bottom of the deck. That means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots, and uh, you're pretty much the center of attention. In the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. So this is where um, it's going to unfold very quickly. So I think once that Eight of Swords and uh, the Seven of Cups energies are no longer around, they're taken care of, it's going to take off like a rocket. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck, right? So they could actually be coming to see you, uh, flying in to see you. The Eight of Wands is also a card of Cupid's arrows. So the Cupid is really hard at work on your behalf here. Um, but uh, like I said, the Eight of Wands is all about um, moving forward quickly. Quickly moving forward. Um, the next card I came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. It's a family card and uh, it's the happily ever after card. And uh, the cherry on top of this cake is the Two of Cups, the last card that came out. The Two of Cups is uh, one of the best cards when it comes to love. It's uh, soulmate love, it's unconditional love, and it's when two people are on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. Right? Um, we only have two major kind of cards on the table. Uh, one of them is your card, the Moon, and uh, the Hierophant right there, clarifying the Four of Pentacles, but the Hierophant is all about a commitment, right? And so is the Ten of Cups. So we got two commitment cards. It's just a matter of time. That's what I keep hearing. It's just a matter of time before the two of you can finally, at long last, move forward together. Um, I don't know what's holding them back, what's holding this King of Pentacles back, or what's, what exactly is happening in their life, but I think they are about to 
finalize something or take care of something or perhaps they are uh, they have a a fear of rejection and they're thinking of the best way to approach you so they don't get rejected uh, but it could be anything right I do see them finally moving towards you finally approaching you and uh, once that happens it's going to be very mutual very mutual because of the Temple of Cups right there um, really happy for you Pisces congratulations Pisces, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Devil, we have the Star, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, a Capricorn in particular. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, something you've uh, wanted for a long time is finally happening here, uh, Pisces. And uh, it could be as uh, grand, I guess, as buying a new house or buying property, right? Um, <clears throat> or it could be a job that either you or your significant other is getting. Or it just could be some money coming in. You could be cashing in on something. For some of you, by the way, it could be a retirement. But for most of you, it's something you wanted for a long time, right? So the devil, the first card I came out is the personal Capricorn card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or the devil is... Um, it, it could come through as a temptation, it could come through as something you really wanted, that's what I think here, together with all the other cards, right? Because we always have to consider cards that also came out. The devil sometimes comes through as uh, something toxic, but uh, in this particular spread I don't see it that way. So I think the devil is something you really wanted. The star in the middle is the personal Aquarius card, but uh, it could also be um, a wish come true, something uh, people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time, right? So if you really wanted to buy a house for a long time, you're buying a house, <laughs> right? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles right next to the <clears throat> deck. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with, but I think the Knight of Pentacles has to do with finances here in some shape or form. And the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is also something financial. The Ten of Pentacles is actually um, a commitment or... <clears throat> or marriage card, but it could also come through as something that has to do with finances. So I believe this whole spread is finances oriented. Like I said, some of you could be buying a new house, others you could be cashing in on something. Um, so, but uh, overall, this is a very positive spread. Something you really wanted for a long time, uh, you will finally have. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Pisces this week. Keep in mind that it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Knight of Wands clarified by the Page of Wands. We also have the Six of Wands. But then we have uh, the Ten of Swords clarified by the Nine of Wands. And we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this Knight of Wands is the person trying to get back into your good graces. It could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could also be a player. It could be a player Fire Sign, right? <laughs> um, the Knight of Wands often comes through as somebody who is in and out of your life, somebody who is hot and cold, playboy, playgirl kind of a character. And that's the type of person you'll be hearing from. We have Judgment on the bottom of the deck all the way here. Right? This is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Um, the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a card of communication, so this is them reaching out to you. And uh, the Six of Wands in the middle, this is them um, actually thinking that they can waltz right back into your life whenever they pleased and uh, you'll take them back. But unfortunately for them, it's not going to be that way. Um, the last card that came out is the Ten of Swords and it's clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Ten of Swords, I think that's your energy. You're basically shutting this person down. This um, offer to get back together um, is dead on arrival. And uh, the Nine of Wands clarifying the Ten of Swords, this is them crawling back with the tail between their legs to where they came from, right? The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, but I think that's them. That's their energy because this is also Wands here. Um, the Ten of Swords is definitely your energy. You are not having this person's crap in your life <laughs> ever again. You're done with them. You're sending them back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces, this week. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this Queen of Wands is going to come in 
um, with some sort of an offer and a promise to make you rich. <laughs> Um, so the Queen of Wands could be a fire sign, yeah, he's Leo Sagittarius. Uh, this person could be a businessman or businesswoman. Um, uh, it could be a recruiter. Um, it could be somebody offering you to invest your money. Um, they will have an offer for you, right? Because the next card, card that came out is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that offer. It's kind of symbolic that the Queen of Wands is holding up a wand, right? And that's exactly what we see. That's exactly the one we see in the ASO ones, right? And the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck in this particular spread, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is rich. <laughs> and that's what they will promise you could become, rich or richer. The Nine of Pentacles is actually uh, one of the best cards when it comes to work, business, and finances, right? Um, but uh, you're going to tell them not so fast. The hangman on the bottom of the deck, I think that's you. You're going to take a time out. You'll need to think it through. I don't really see anything in the spread suggesting this person is trying to cheat you out of your money or they're being dishonest. But, um, yeah, if you want to take your time to do your research or to think things through, uh, go ahead and do it. I don't think this person is going anywhere. It could be a side business that could uh, eventually become your main source of income. Whatever, whatever offer they have for you, the potential is there with that Nine of Pentacles. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, um, Pisces. We have the Magician, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have uh, the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here misses you. Um, somebody is coming back from the past. They have regrets about what happened. Um, I don't think it's that same person we saw in the X spread. I'm getting a completely different energy. Uh, so this person could be somebody you had a fallout with, right? It could be your ex-friend, somebody you went to school with, somebody you used to work with, but something must have happened. Something happened where the two of you, like I said, had some sort of a fallout, right? And uh, this person wants you back into their life. They, this person wants to reconnect with you. And I think they're willing to do something to compensate you. Um, the Magician, the first card I came out, is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The Magician is a card of action, right? Um, and uh, the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Magician is uh, potentially something tangible, something you can touch. So I do feel this person will want to compensate you in some shape or form for what they did to you or for um, <clears throat> perhaps you did something for them and... Uh, they never did anything back for you, or they didn't pay you for what, for some sort of a service you did. Or perhaps they borrowed money from you, but they never gave it back to you. It's whatever, anything. <laughs> um, I do see this person wanting uh, to um, do, do something extra just to get you back. That's what I see with the uh, Magician and the Page of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, this is a start, but in this case actually a restart of a cycle. They want to restart a cycle between the two of you. And we got two fives, the Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups. So this person feels miserable without you in their life. This person feels like um, they're left out in the cold and uh, they have a lot of regrets with that Five of Cups. Um, what you are going to do, Pisces, is going to be completely up to you. It all depends on what actually happened and on the nature of this uh, connection between you and this person. 100% up to you, Pisces. Alright, so that's what I got for you, Pisces, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out that uh, Pluto Transit video I was talking about in the beginning of this video. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.